Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Now that we are done with the user authentication, a part of the application, right? We already have our login, our register pages. Um, we have all of the features working for that. Now let's go in and start setting up, you know, some tools for debugging because from here on things might get a little bit complicated and guess what? we're going to need every little help that we can. Okay. So I want you guys to search for clockwork PHP. Now this is a cool tool that you can use right on your browser to debug your PHP Laravel applications. And it pretty much it works with any type of application that's out there. Um, if you know how to do it, but with Laravel, it basically, it works <laughs> straight out of the box. Okay. So, okay. You got clockwork PHP dev tools in your browser. Okay. Very nice. Collects data, uh, Laravel support. Okay. Uh, you have the timeline so you can see exactly what's happening. Uh, as you get like a request, right? You could have information about the login. Uh, you also have database and queries information. Uh, sometimes this is important, you know, to deal with the M plus one problem, right? Uh, also to user data, uh, X debug profiler, sharing commands, queue jobs, client metrics, right? And again, all of this stuff is done right on your, um, on your browser, right? And you can see that directly in there. So how do you install this? So it's very simple. You come here copy this right we're already inside of the github.com slash is uh going on going d it's going d <laughs> slash clockwork website and then basically we're going to come and copy this from um you know from good old uh, github and then we're going to paste this inside of our terminal so i'm going to come here create a new terminal okay give this a second uh windows <laughs> okay and then now we're gonna install this okay now once this is done we're gonna scroll down here on github and we're gonna click on either the chrome web store or the firefox add-on i'm using firefox uh, browser the web developer edition so I'm gonna go to this one okay and I'm gonna add to Firefox click add okay and click OK there we go and then now to see if it's running let's go to our application and inspect the element right and then just refresh the page okay and in here we can see what's new with clockwork. Okay. Has been updated again. Okay, and there we go. Okay. We can see everything that has to do with this page right here. Okay. You got your headers, you got your cookies, you got your middleware, you got your session, right? You have all that information here as far as like uh, session for your PHP app. You can see the performance of it. You can see the models you're working with. You can see your database, uh, what's actually happening here. Okay. Uh, you can see your views are loading, right? And this is super important right here as far as like the queries, because sometimes you might be doing something with eloquent that might not be optimized. Right. Um, and sometimes you might say, you know what, let me go and try to use a different way or maybe write my own query right so uh you know seeing this right here this database uh tab is super important just because you might get more information here than anywhere else and and yes laravel does have its own way to to handle errors and things like that and it's very helpful but sometimes you might want to go and use this right here on your developer tools so again the more help the better right like you can't complain about getting help <laughs> all right so this is a great tool i definitely recommend for all of you guys to install and again you know thank god that we live in, in an age where people are creating tools to make our lives easier as developers okay so i think now that we're ready to go as far as like you know using this tool 
and we have it installed, we can now start working in more complex, um, you know, sections of the, the website, right? So we're going to go into all of the different features from here on. Okay. So I'm going to stop right here, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.